Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is my allotment journey. I came down a few days ago and I did um, basically harvest some onions and my garlic. Um, I didn't do much vlogging and I'm not sure if I've still got it on my camera or I deleted it because I was going on and deleting things and that but I just want to show you guys I need to share my elephant garlic with you guys like it's here it's oh look at that I am so pleased so it's currently there drying um oh, she pops down also behind me I have got my red onions and my other garlic there hanging and obviously drying out as well but I am really happy with them white onions are doing as well but I guess we can't have it all can we um, I think how things were and what I'm kind of getting at the moment I think I just need to be really happy with the things that I do have and not the things that I don't have but again the plot looks happy um, which makes me happy and hopefully it continues to thrive when I came down to do the um, TP for the beans I decided to literally tidy this whole bed up and I added this little chap in and since he's been in nobody has actually come to take a little nap in here so the child again is doing really well I managed to try and save three lettuces that seem to be doing okay I was gifted some pepper plants so I've just popped them in because obviously I had the space and I'm hoping um, I get something out of this bed. This was my let's chuck some seeds in here and see what happens. Obviously I put carrots in here, not a lot of them took so I threw lots of um, lettuce seeds in here after my disaster and they have just, oh this can all start to be like picked and that so I'll take a bit home today. Um, the first time I was doing golden eye beetroot so as you can see there is one there so that's my very first one i did do normal beetroot in one of my test beds last year which did really really well and again that's in here these carrots now i think are ready to come out so we've got some we've got some ready in here yes yeah, so we've got some ready there also i have been cutting the leaves off because i've had that um leaf miner uh so i read literally just to keep removing the leaves and that should be fine but look just look at that bed i'm super happy with there is the new TP for the climbing beans so I have got more climbing beans but I think that corner looks absolutely gorgeous to be fair though the broad beans are literally at the end of their sort of picking they'll be ready to come out um, I do think now the shallots are nearly on the way as well so they'll have to come out but all in all this is quite a lovely little corner now somebody on here recommended that I would go to Halfords I should sorry I should go to Halfords and get the car paint and I did I got the car black car um, spray paint I was gonna go for a matte but in the end I decided to go for a gloss which I do like the finish 
and we have sprayed the arch finally. Um, we're going to go back and get some gold paint though, so we're going to put the the uh, gold at the the top on the little point bits, which I think will just really set it off. Get some gold paint to do the the points at the top, which will look really cool. But at least it has been sprayed, so we're getting there. I just want to take a moment to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to me so far. I really, really appreciate it. I, to be honest with you, when I started this, I didn't think I'd even get. I knew I'd get one because obviously I know my, I know my niece subscribed to me, so I knew I'd get one subscriber. But my goodness, to have like I know it's nothing to some people, but to have 305 subscribers is absolutely amazing. So thank you guys. Um, I will continue to do what I'm doing. Obviously, I'm kind of learning as I go, and I'm really enjoying it. Also, um, I'm a lot happier at the moment, as you can see. But again, thank you so much, and I look forward to sharing more with you. So it's only taking me how long to actually think about doing this instead of going up and down constantly back and forth with the watering cans. I'm going to actually use the wheelbarrow. Like why haven't I done this before? So this way I can actually get three of them every time I go back and forth. So hopefully I can do it in oh, maybe five trips instead of, I don't know actually, I think it's gonna be more than five trips. So I've had a little tidy up, um, I've given everything a really good water, but that's me for today. I wasn't actually meant to be down here, but obviously it was a lot warmer than I was expecting, hence the uh, <laughs> the outfit. This is not an allotment outfit. So um, yeah, I think I will be back down here hopefully in the next few days. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Remember guys, I am not a how-to, I am basically don't do what she's doing. Um, thank you to everyone that's given me advice so far. I've given the apple tree a blitz of water um, so I do need to actually put some manure and whatever in there that was advised also but I will do that um, hopefully another day when I can get a hold of that. But it's had a good old blitz. I think I might give it another blitz as well the next time I come down. Um, but again thank you for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all again soon.